Okay, well, I announced this to you. <laughs> you so you told me this. I got a little sad. Real Housewives of Potomac alumni uh, Monique Samuels files for divorce from Chris Samuels. Yeah, I got a little sad. We've been following this, this couple, you know, from Housewives of Potomac. Got a little bit of uh, information about them and their foundation. Him and he is a a, a, a retired football player. Mm -hmm. Even his mom's situation with her. His mom never there, liked. There her. was some static there. Um, Monique had a, a a problem with anger. She would go off, and it was a really big season for the Housewives of Potomac when she and one of the other ladies went off on mm -hmm. each other. She was ready to take that girl out. So you saw that true character come out yeah and i'm like whoa she ain't she, she's she don't that's someone you don't want to play with right but when you told me about them she's filing for the divorce i got a little sad because i thought they were going through counseling well, and trying to work it out people magazine confirmed in october last year yeah that monique and chris sams had split after 10 years wow so this was last year that's sad. They kept it quiet. They sure did. Monique Samuels has filed to legally end her marriage to Chris Samuels. So they split in October. So for her to file now, I think it's over. Okay. I, if, if it would have just split now and she filed, I think maybe they might have had a chance to work it out. Or, but if you split since last year and now you filing, that means you run. It's done. We're done. Um, Monique, okay. Um, the the uh, Montgomery County Family Court confirmed to people on Tuesday that the Real Housewives of Potomac alumni, 39, has officially filed for divorce from her former NFL player, he's 45. Though Monique has filed a petition to seal the documents, the docket shows that she filed a complaint for absolute divorce on April 14th. She then filed an amended complaint for an absolute divorce on June 15th. This recent. Yeah. You can, uh, you can have uh, your files closed? You can have them closed. They, yeah. Really? I thought it was open public. Once it's done, I think, the judgment. I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, the former couple's divorce has yet to be finalized. However, Monique and Chris have a scheduled hearing for Wednesday. People reached out to Monique and Chris for comment. Um, yeah, so that's it. Nothing else? It said Monique and Chris' marital issues were apparent during the first season of Love and Marriage. Remember, we talked oh, about yeah, that. yeah, Love and Marriage. We talked about every single time. She, it was always something with them. It's funny because she thought her Africa trip will free them up. No, it didn't. Bring them closer, like Gab Gabrielle's Africa trip. Right. Where she did an actual um, narration documentary on it, and that helped bring her closer, yeah. you know, to earth and love and God. But theirs got further apart from yep. that show. yeah. Um, she says it was a lot of confusion. It was crazy building up to that 10 year marker of our marriage. And when you've been married that long and when you have things that you're, you're like, listen, this is being unmet or I've been unheard. You start to get frustrated and it's like, oh my God, is this what life is going to be? I can't take it anymore. She continued. So what y'all saw on love and marriage DC last season, it was my cry for help. I wonder, I'm trying to see both sides because remember we would hear, we would kind of get an idea of both sides in the situation with their marriage, like mm -hmm. what her struggles were, what his struggles were. And he was even admitting, mm -hmm. I'm trying to work better on my communication. Mm -hmm. He doesn't open up as much. And we started seeing changes in him. And we were like, oh, Chris seemed like a good guy. But oh, we don't know what it's like off the camera. We either. don't know. And we don't know how much of it is her and how and, much of it is him. and him together even not even both of them bending and whatever they need and then the, when they went past their pastors and they had counseling they was counseling and everything went, and even was giving pointers on to other marriages the other marriages that yeah. was yeah um, yep so. well sharon says good evening everyone hey sharon hey, sharon and then um how you say is a pod angel I think it's a, a Podge Angel, AP Angel, some angel. I'm sorry I got your name wrong. She says, or he says, the Real Housewives shows are a curse for family. That's why Kim Fields. She got off of that got show. Off. When she first got on Housewife of Atlanta, I said, why are you on there? They was calling her husband. They Gary messed with everything. her husband, her family, her, ooh. She got off of that show. Don't be on that show unless you are, you got some thick skin. Isn't it funny how Candy's still married, even though they go through a whole bunch? Yeah, that's true. We, I thought they was going to have problems with her mom. They did have problems her with her mom. Her mom was something else. 
but God. yeah, I agree. It is a curse. It to, is um, to, to not be on it. any that, reality show. That's why Mary Mary stopped show. doing their show they because said of the, sister. the marriages. She's was like, oh, I'm going through something right now, and I need the time with God. It's so public. You have everybody in your business, and when, then everybody wants to say something and make comments. Mm -hmm. But you said like the Kardashians, they rule the narrative of their show. They well, they all get divorces and everything. I know, mm -hmm. but they run the narrative of they, their show. The Kardashians like negative, though. They like negative because they stay current. They yeah, stay whether current. it's positive or negative, you're still in the press. But if that's you're on how somebody they else's it. reality show that runs it, like Andy Cohen, yeah. You you can't really have no say so yep. of the narrative and yep. the comments. So there you go, Monique well, Samuel. I'll be praying for them. You know, praying for the family. And Kevin they, they got the but kids. if you're not happy, just yeah, get out of it. Yeah. If you've been through counseling, you went to talk to your pastor. You, you didn't been to time. Africa. You didn't been. <laughs> she did. You didn't wash the, the, the incense. Yeah, you didn't went to the where Jesus walked the on the ground. Mountain. And but no, take me to the king. It's time to divorce. It's time. Yeah. You don't have to stay they married to somebody. They haven't been married that long, but they got beautiful Ten children. Ten years is a long time, man. No. Oh, yeah, well. No. Some people think 10 years is long. Well, it's sad that we think it's long now. 10 years Anything now. Anything over 20 is You're long right. to You're me. right. 10 now Can is long. Can you duke it out for another 10? Y'all lasted for 10 years? Can you duke it for another 10, 15, nah. 25? Nah. Leave on a high note. If they keep, if both of them are talking and the other one is not listening and meeting the person where they saying, it's over. And who's to say like that person said, being on that reality TV show caused the seed. Think about it. When you watch, because when I go back and watch our shows, mm -hmm. there's things you do that make me mad. I said, I can't watch the show. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine it's some, not a reality show. But I'm saying, it, it's still watching it. Okay. And you be like, did she say that? Or she did that. And then you bring up a whole argument from before. I can see how it can mess up. Mm -hmm. I can see how it can mess up. But theirs was um, definitely narration that they had no control over. Yeah, that's I true. think it'd be different than like her podcast that she has. That's, yeah. This is edited the way that they want to yeah. edit it. So. it mess. Remember, he had to go through the mess with the Housewives of Potomac. They were saying about a, her having an him, affair. Him having an her affair. baby was from another man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Chris was like, you can see smoke coming out of his yeah, ears. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's good, you know. I like both of them. I do too. Um, even though Monique is a, a firecracker, she is. I like her still, though. We'll see. All and right. They may even get back together. I'll well, pray, pray for them. Pray for them. Because you uh, to to some people have gotten remarried. Separate to educate. Some people have gotten remarried. That's true. They so, come back as yeah. a different person, better person. Yeah. More humbled, whatever. Yep. You know. So go ahead. All right. So that's the end of them. Um. Here. Oh, this couple. This is this truly a couple? Yeah. This is not some just. Just put together just to make the people make comments. Well, about let's it. listen. Jonathan Major supported by girlfriend Megan Good at court appearance amid assault.